All right, I was away from my kayak. Um, I'm over here sifting. I've got a tip up in here. I found a real nice layer. It's taken me an hour to find a good layer. That's I can tell by looking at the screens and the fire rock and how much flint's in it. Because I take all the flint. That's how I know if I'm in a good spot. Because I've already, you know, I've taken 60 pounds of flakes off this site. And if I'm on a beach where I've sifted, if I'm in my throw out power enough, anything, I won't be finding new flint. There's flint all over the site. And uh, let me see, let me climb up in here. I've tried the best I can to get all this debris that's washed in out of here. But look here, on my shovel again, I scraped up. You can see the holes are filled with sand, but there's work on that. Another nutter pretty nice one too look nothing on the other side but we'll take that nice fun start the day off I'll have to get that all right um, still got the pink kayak my daughter's um, I still have a patch of mine I'm going to this one's convenient it's real light and I can pick it up I can carry it above my head if I want it but here's what I'm up to get a couple pieces of pottery here that's one piece of broke in my pocket there's a broken point you can see so it's a recruited one some flakes and stuff here's here's some translucent stuff you can see it's nicely translucent other little flakes and stuff like that but man fix i've got the day maker in my screen um you can this is where i found all them bird points and i found a bunch of other stuff too there's a pentagonal site coming out lower in the bank this is where the bank's the highest you can see that's just you know mississippi and stuff would be coming out on this place up in here in the top 12 inches easy that archaic stuff the pentagonals or stuff are way down in the bank i saw some fire pits coming out clear down here at the base but i'm looking for these bird points number one because they're so nice and they're hard to find and you know it's been like a week and i've come at least five of seven days of the week up here for at least two hours and sifted right where i found all of them and i haven't got one in hours and hours and hours at least 20 hours of sifting and i got one and it looks like shocked and flint and oh man is it nice i already got pictures um it's starting to dry out it's setting up here in the sun Th these points really change color because they've been laying in this muck and they can lighten up and but look see if you see this oh it's nice unique material for one of these too and it's real nice look at this little one. Oh man real nice it's i'd say it's kashokton or it's flint ridge that's just not translucent it's one of the two it's a beautiful little true bow and arrow point man folks another one for the frame um, I'll get that frame out and show you at the end of this video, but this is a week maker because this is what I'm looking for I want just thousands of them to put in these big frames and like circle patterns and Like snake patterns. They look awesome. Oh Man, that's great. Love it. Well, anyway, I got a couple I got that broken point there and I found this too Let me set this point down and other nutting staying in here, but you can see this one's broke. There's a hole there and a hole there, but it's busted and it's an old break. But a bird point fix, I did it. Later. All right, I'm pulling out of here. I'll give you a shot down the river. There's a barge down there in the middle of the river. Find a nice bird point. Um, I found some other little flake tools and stuff, and another broken nutting stand and. Like, I don't know, 20 more flakes of real nice flint. The water's not right, but I picked around up here long enough and got enough for a video. That bird point's awesome. Um, to give you a little info on the scenery here, on the left there is West Virginia. On the right, the land is Ohio. I'm in the Ohio River. But uh, I'll get back on my next hunt. After this clip, you'll see Squirrel Man and the rest of the bird points I found on this site recently. Later, folks. All right, you're looking at a frame of little Riverton points. Yeah, I think they're like 3,200 years old to like 2,000 something, I think. Um, they're the first true bow and arrow points in my area. Found 95% of these recently. There's that real nice one, a bunch of these perforators 
and they're just smoker points and they're all made of nice flint like flint ridge and stuff real high quality material and I thought this point was Coshocton but it's flint ridge too it's stained up it's like probably off white flint ridge and it's real stained up from that river mud but you can see how close it is like to this one and but we're gonna put it in here and we got one more piece to the puzzle and man looks nice in there folks right there another piece it's a small enough one I can fit it in this frame I'm gonna have to start another one but there you go later folks look who I found here here buddy you getting a cherry you getting a cherry big man look at this pretty boy hi oh, buddy I was missing you too yeah we got another nice bird point my buddy's been here holding the fort down. Look at him. He's worked up. I'm happy to see you too, buddy. I'll let you eat your stuff. There's a couple more. A grape and another one. Look here, face. Squirrel man likes them. Don't he? <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. He's going to the grape now. You going to the grape now, buddy? Now get off of you. Well, anyway, folks, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a nice little point. I'll get back on my next one. Later, folks. Mm -hmm.